everybody! Welcome to Void Bastards! Now, I've talked about this game a little bit on my channel. Um, I'm going... I'm in the process of doing Game Run on it, so I've kind of already beat it. But, the game is so RNG and so much fun that I just wanted to play it again. And I think this time I'll play it on camera for you guys. So, I know what I'm doing. However, it has been a very long time since I played it. I actually played it when it first came out. Probably like... I don't even remember when, like, the summer... I don't remember. It's been a very, very long time. It's been a couple of months, at least. I know there have been several updates to the game. I know there's DLC. I don't have any DLC for the game. I didn't think they had DLC for the game, honestly. So, we're gonna dive into this. We're gonna see what's gonna happen here. And apparently there's a new challenge mode, so I might do that. But right now, we're gonna do a new game. I'm gonna erase all my thing. Uh, I actually did get through all of it, but that was the old version of it. So, I don't know what any of that means. Uh, yeah. Here we go! So, the awesome thing about Void Bastards is that each and every single character that gets created is actually just a dehydrated human in a package, who's a prisoner. So... If it's in the Zard Gasso Nebula, clients have all been lost anyway, eh? Yeah, I think so. Let's log off and get rat instead. Basically what happened is that our ship that was delivering prisoners to that center that just showed got fucked over. And pirates attacked us, I think that's how they said it. So what happens is every single time you die, your pack your backpack gets taken off of you, and it just goes back it just goes back to your ship. But it also dumps all the stuff that you lost when you die, other than things you've created. Steve cleared for return to Voidark. So there we go. This is what happens when we die. So now we have to make a new prisoner. And I really hope my role on the prisoner is good, because that can fuck me over if I'm not careful. Which I don't want to do. So this is the ship that got screwed over that we need to fix in order to get back to the prison area. It's got a million <laughs> dried, yeah. So this is what happens whenever All right, we're Wilson, offense late payment of taxes. He's a sniper, so we have a chance of a critical shot on each hit. Uh but he's reckless, so one citizen type isn't identified on vessel. So that means that Wilson is going to fuck us over because he's not going to be able to see one of the enemy types that are on a vessel whenever we go to loot the vessel. Which could be very problematic. Congratulations. <sighs> I don't like this guy. I'm going to die with this man, I'm sure. Okay, so we've been rehydrated. Welcome to your induction seminar. Unauthorized persons have boarded this vessel and rendered it inoperative. Your action item. Restart the FTL drive. Okay, I need to see your citizen card to authorize the restart. We don't have a citizen card because we're a prisoner. As a WCG penal client, your citizen card has been shredded. So I have to go make one. Don't worry, you'll find parts to construct another one from on nearby vessels. You need are a line printer and an ID card. Line printer and an ID the card. Parts, you can assemble them on the Steve's workbench. So here's our workbench. So we need to get a citizen card, which is an ID printer and a or an ID card and a line printer. All we have right now is this pistol. It's called the regulator. I'm not gonna have fun with this because I had all this done, but I'm excited to restart. So. As you can see, we this is our map. We can't see anything past these ships. Now, the line printer is clearly in that direction. So, what we can do is we can either go to this Kral Mart, which wouldn't do us any good because we don't really have a lot of... We don't have a lot of merits as our money right here. We don't have a lot of merits. So, that's not going to do us much good, and it's going to burn one food and one fuel to get there. Not really a very wise investment of our time. So, our only natural thing is to go here. So, as you can see, we can see who is on this, uh, this ship enemy type. So we have a janitor, we have an unknown because of this asshole's reckless trait. 
And then we have a juve, which I just like to call them delinquents because they're assholes and they'll scream at you and they'll call you a cunt. So, we're just going to go there. Let's get there. And let's dock. And let's bring aboard our regulator. And let's get on there. So, this is... This is our map of this area, so we're going to come in over here from this right-hand side. We're going to make sure that we get to the oxygen one to make sure the oxygen's good. We're going to have to, we might have to restore power. I know on the, in the beginning, the ships usually have their power, but at the, as you go further down into the hellscape, these ships often do not have. So, Warning. this is the, the game. Has caused citizens to assume irregular forms. Right. See? And there's a delinquent right there, fucking bastard. Alright, so there's one. Okay, there's a janitor. Okay, I'm gonna close that real quick so I can search in here. Let's see what we can find. We want to find anything from money to sandwiches to gas. We need everything. Because we're just now starting, and we will be screwed if we don't find at least something. Fuel and park locations can be downloaded at the helm. Yeah. And another thing that is interesting about this game is that every single place, although it doesn't, this place doesn't have the line printer, it also has a very important item here that we can use to craft better guns, ammo, well not, and then uh, certain types of a uh, of of armor and such. So I'm not seeing anybody. There is a third type of enemy on board here that I do not know what it is. So let's download the ship data. And we can download enemy locations so if we spend 10 bucks. I don't want to do that. Found a sandwich. Great. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, so we've got all of our important items with these stars. And we got gas back there. Okay, I'm just going to keep going this way. We're going to pick up everything and then we're, then we're bailing. I don't have a lot of health at this moment because I don't have any armor. Okay, I'm not going to come down there. As you can tell, the chaos that ensues after this, I'm gonna lock this door just because there's a gun point down there and I don't want I don't want it to just oh, we got some smoke. Okay, I have never seen an outpatient before, that's new. Shit. Oh no. Oh god. As you can tell, all I have is this pistol right now. And I have one clip left. Whew. Alright, we found one plaz. I actually stepped on an oil spill, so now we're gonna slide everywhere for a minute. Which is annoying as fuck. Okay, and this is another dock that we can use to escape. Okay, cool. So if I need to, I can come back this way. Alright. So our main problem right now is that we have not found anything. So we're going to go... Uh, I don't want to go down. What we're going to do... Okay, so gun points are actually just turrets. Let me unlock this door. So I'm not going to... Sorry. I'm not going to run down that hallway because it would probably kill me. It, and all I have are six bullets left. Or is it eight and then a clip? I don't know. I don't remember. Obviously, this game has worn me down. So we're, gonna, we're just going to take a left instead. I'm going to try to avoid turrets as much as I can. So let's go here. Shut down security for three seconds or permanently shut it down. Um, let's wait on that. We might need it. We might not need it. We'll figure it out. Okay, we got some more money. All right. So oxygen's that way. We still got four minutes and 20 seconds on our oxygen up there. For 20, nice! Okay, there's something in here. Might have to go see about our oxygen. So what it says when it up there in the right hand corner, um, you guys can't see the map because my face is definitely blocking it, uh, which is in the left hand corner. He just called me a spunky fuck face. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna try to conserve ammo as much as possible. Okay, he's running away. So. What was I saying? Oh, in the top right hand corner, you'll see it says two plaz or whatever. Shit, three bolts. Okay, thank god I killed it. Ugh. Not looking good, not looking good. Okay. 
so we have a AAA battery which gives us one volt. So at the very ending of the mission, it'll, it'll show you what it means. But these, you can make these materials and then they can make better items. Okay, so let's go this way. Got two. Oh, fuck. Okay, so now we know where the gun is in relation to where I am. So let's go, let's go to the oxygen. We have, n we have no bullets left, guys. I have no bullets left. But I need to get at least some fuel from this place. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay, back up to 7 minutes and 30 seconds. Perfect. Health's not looking too great. Don't have any bullets. Uh, this is... Shit. Alright, so we got a generator. What's this? Power's already on. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so here's the FTL drive. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. So anytime that one of these are locked, I always buy it because it usually has the the epic item from the place. Oh, I've never dealt with outpatients before. Jesus, they're fast. Hello, delinquent man. Oh, hello, other delinquent man. Okay, see, as you can see, I need more ammo, or a better gun, or something. Ah, oh, shit, that's still up. Mmm, this is not looking good. Okay, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. I, I, I'm pushing you! He called me a butt face. Alright, I'm just gonna... I got, I got the item that I wanted, and I didn't really even need it. So I'm just gonna call it a day and get the hell out of here. And hope to God I can get some ammo on the next ship. Wait, I have six bullets now. God damn it, when I get six bullets? Whatever, it wouldn't have been able to help me in that situation anyway. Okay, so that's one shit. That was one shit. How chaotic that was. So we found a sandwich. We got three fuel, which is great. We found two fit no FTL nozzles. So I don't know what the FTL nozzles do now. But yeah. And then we can recycle all these items into what we need. So bio, data, plast, slag, and volt can all be made into bigger things like the thing we just got the, the major item so now we can build the stapler which is a much better gun this is exciting <sighs> KPIs are really trending up god all right so i don't know if it will come Who is this nebula a desolate void filled with derelict vessel unauthorized persons have boarded these vessels in an unauthorized got it Okay, so we can either go... Okay, there's friends on board. So there's one type of... Okay. So, we can either go down here to the empty waypoint and then get some fuel cells or some merits. But, I don't think I'm going to do that because if we go to the Duchess's mansion here, not only is there only one type of enemy aboard, but it also says there's friends on board. So... This citizen type is probably friendly and probably won't try to hurt me. So I think I'm going to go there. Because this is just pretty much a free place then. Okay, good. We have 12 bullets with our stapler. Not that we'll need the stapler, and the stapler is like a shotgun. Not that we'll need the stapler. God, I hope not. So each ship type has its own look about it. I actually like the luxury ones. They're pretty cool. So... If there's only one enemy type aboard, and the enemy type's a friend... Yes, he's an ally. Okay, perfect. God, you guys are weird as shit. Alright. Give me your data. So this is just pretty much an easy free ship. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I'm gonna conserve as much ammo as possible. And I gotta find me some sandwiches, because I don't have any more food. Hello, buddy. So... There's something here. Okay, good. I'm a sandwich. That'll take care of our next jet. Uh, anything else after this point is just a bonus. Uh, I think it said there was another FTL nozzle on board. Oh, I didn't think about turrets. But the allies will help us, so yay. And I'm pretty sure these guys are like kamikazes. I forget what they're called. But, uh, as you can tell... They sound very interesting. And by interesting, I mean very macaroni and cheesy. I hope you know what I mean when I say macaroni and cheesy. If you don't know what I mean, you're probably too young to understand what I mean when I say mac and cheese. Listen to him. 
Somebody is having hot, kinky sex in the room next door. Oh, no, it's just you. <laughs> God. You're so loud, too, man. Have some courtesy for your neighbors, man. If you're that wet, maybe don't watch the Channing Tatum movie before you start fucking. Jesus criminy Christ. Alright, so we're finding a good amount of stuff. Oh, it's like an orgy in my ear. Normally that'd be great, but it's not moaning or anything. It's just... It's just... just constantly. It's... Oh, fuck. Hey, ally, you wanna... You wanna help... Help me? You're not... You're not gonna blow up for me? You don't wanna help? But I need to get in there, man. I have to go all the way around the ship again if I don't... Fine. I'll deal with it my... Okay. Did he just say I appear to have lost my wife? Oh, they're called tourists. I don't know why I kept saying I couldn't figure out what their name was. They're tourists. Okay, so this place has got some dump stuff. This is like... This is like the junkyard of the ship. Okay, so what do we need? So if I deposit... If I give him five merits, I can get one of one... Oh, two plus. Oh, fuck it, I'll do that. Ooh, there's something over here. I found a finger! Yay! God! I'm gonna use it to cover my fucking ears because of all this orgy sex that's happening around me. Security? No? Okay, good. More fuel. Got another FTL nozzle. Got more fuel. Got more fuel. Alright, one more time around the ship and then we'll be good and we'll get the hell out of here. I only have 100 health. So I really hope I don't knock myself into another... I'm gonna grab oxygen just in case. Really hope I don't knock into another goddamn gunpoint turret. Because those things eat your health. And I don't have EMPs or anything yet. Oh, I found kitty bots. Kitty bots are cute, and they're distracting. I don't think I used them a lot. That was the sanitation room. Which means if we go to the right, it's the dining hall. Unlock that door, please. Thank you. Hello, everybody. See, if these guys weren't allies, I would be in a heap of trouble because they'd be exploding every goddamn second. There's another sandwich. There's another sandwich. Perfect. There's a coin. What else we got around here? More salmon. Okay, this is the perfect ship. I don't have to fight nearly anything. I keep finding food. I've got a decent amount of gas now. And there's another sandwich on the floor. I don't care. Five second rule, right? Or five year rule. Doesn't matter. It's still edible. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. So this is a luxury ship. Usually these ones are kind of hard, but kind of gave it to me. I'm okay with that. So I'm going to do one more ship. Look at all the fucking food we got, man! God damn! I'm set for life! So now we don't even have to worry about salvaging gas or sandwiches for a while. We could probably just jet through a couple of them. Shut up! I don't care. I know what I'm doing. Okay, so... There's shit loads of probably a janitor. And then there's some juveniles. And then there's another FTL nozzle. So... What is that got? That one's got padded. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jet past this one. We don't really need to go on here. We're gonna go to this one. Oh wait, but that won't set us up for to get the to get the printer. All right, fine. We'll jet this way. We'll just get the printer in this episode. Okay, so we got eight more food. That's awesome. So we're still good on jumps. We got 14 data from that. Oh, we gained Power Engineer as, our tr as a trait. We can now detect power outages before entering a vessel. Okay, that's neat. That one definitely was not in the, in the, in the version I played. Okay, so... Gunpoints and peepers are inactive on this ship, but we have screws and we probably have janitors. Normally janitors and screws confide together. So, here we go. We got our stapler ready. Let's see what happens. I have a very innate feeling I'm going to die. I have 200 health. So, screws... Ha, they have a lot of health. Okay, so it's screws and juveniles. Alright. 
Yep. Screws and juveniles. They're easy. Oh, no. I hate dealing with screws, man. They're so overpowered. Fuck. And there's no other way. Fine. Fine. I'll die here. It'll be fine. Shit. Hmm. Nope. Stop! Just die! Nope. Screws have so much fucking health, man. Damn it. Yep, I have died in the first episode. This game is a game of luck. It's not a game of skill, because as you can tell, each shot takes like two seconds to actually hit. Let's at least see who we're dealing with next episode. We're going to deal with Griffiths. Sticky feet. He cannot be knocked back and is unaffected by lubricant leaks. That's actually fucking helpful. And he doesn't have a negative trait! He doesn't have a negative trait, guys! Holy shit. Much better. Much, much better. Okay, so... Yeah, I, I know... Shut up. So, on the next episode, we're gonna have to make our way back to the line printer from here. But all the ships are different because it's a nebula. And nothing makes sense here. So... I will see all you know bros in the next episode of Void Bastards. Peace.